Happy Tuesday. Today we're going to talk about how to handle rejection as an actor. Hey, Asia Ray Coleman back with another episode of Guru Tips for Actors. And today I want to talk about something that we deal with a lot as actors, and that is rejection. Unlike most professionals, we spend more time looking for our next job than actually being in a job for a lot of us. And so that means we have a lot of job interviews, aka auditions. We uh, have our performances critiqued in the form of reviews and publications. We have meetings with agents and managers, people who want to represent us that either go well or not. And so there are just a lot of instances where we can come out of an experience not quite getting what we think we want, right? And that can feel very disappointing. So I think that we as actors need some strategies to deal with that. So I have three recommendations. The first is to give yourself some time to experience that disappointment. It's totally natural to be a bit sad. Now I'm not saying to wallow in that forever, but allow yourself to feel it because that will allow you to process it, get through it and move on. My second tip is to just remember what the odds are in this business. There are a lot of people competing for every role, usually, that we go out for. And so a lot of times, it has nothing to do with how great you are, <laughs> whether you get the role or not. Like there are lots of reasons that you might not get a role. You might be too tall or too short or too ethnic or not ethnic enough or whatever, right? So just remember the odds and try not to take rejection personally. My third tip is to focus on the part of your career that you actually can control. When you have an experience like an audition or an agent meeting where you didn't get the job or it didn't get signed, think about that experience objectively. What parts of it went really well? Celebrate those. What parts of it could have gone better? Figure out a way to make sure it goes better next time, whether that's focusing more on your craft or making sure to be more prepared for the next audition or doing a bit more research on the agent before the meeting. Really make sure that you are going into each experience, bringing your best, and that's all we can do. After that, be really happy to have had the experience and to have built another relationship. So that's it, I hope that was helpful. If you love this content, please share it with your friends and please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss next week's Guru Tips for Actors. I'll see you then.